So we were talking monetization and I know that when I first, um, you know, was reading about until I really started diving down into what grant for the web was about. Um, when I first read web monetization, I'm like, oh, so like, is this like about, you know, web advertising or, or, you know, other ways that people are monetizing on the web, whether it's Patreon or, um, yeah. or, or, uh, or, yeah. or, like affiliate links um so so whereas what you're talking about is different than that do you mind just sort of ex explaining of what so basically um you know we have a huge problem on the internet with things like fake news and clickbait and advertisements like spending any like spending any time on the internet it feels like i'm just dodging advertisements whether it be like YouTube videos or podcasts, uh, like you can block out the ads, but then people, you know, like with podcasts are always talking about like, let's thank our sponsor. And then they've got to talk for like, you know, two minutes about like a product or whatever in the middle of their content. And so advertisements have always super annoyed me because I don't want to see that. Like that's not part of what I'm doing. Web monetization is really about um, people essentially paying for the content that they consume. So, like Coil, for example, I pay $5. Um, and that means that I get access to people's content, plus their bonus content, plus videos on Cinnamon, plus I get to use Imgo without, or Imager without ads. Um, and Hacker Noon, I get extra content. So there's all these different things that I uh, have access to because I pay this $5 a month. It means no commercials, no ads or anything. And I love that. I think that's a brilliant model. Um, so that's really all web monetization is. It is the technology behind um, allowing all these different companies to get slices of my $5 through the time that I spend. So when I go to Imgur, Imgur however it's pronounced, um, I spend time there and I'm looking through all like the memes and stuff and they're getting micro payments in the background. And then I can immediately flip to someone's cinnamon video and then they're getting the micro payments from my subscription. So of the $5 a month, I think it's like $4.33 goes to all the creators that I spend time with and the remainder goes to, to Coil. Um, so that's really all web monetization is. It's just a more fair way for people to um, be paid for the content they're, they're, that they're producing. And so like, I don't know if like you get annoyed with like videos or podcasts or whatever, where they have to kind of break up the story that they're telling to advertise something that doesn't really seem true to their values or whatever. Um, yeah, I, I, I hate that interruption. I just want the content that I want. Um, and people do feel that like they get all this content for free on social media, but they're not really like everyone knows that our data is being sold and unsold and all that sort of stuff. But there's also the element of people being unaware of how much they're influenced by all this tracking and by all these ads. Um, and, you know, clickbait and fake news is a whole separate thing. But that, that influence is actually massive people are totally unaware with how much they're influenced by everything they see on the internet constantly, continuously. Uh, so yeah, so web monetization hopefully actually solves a huge number of issues, including hopefully fake news.